Okay, so I'm just going to run for, through for you how to find the um, standard deviation on the Casio FX CG50, your calculator. Um, it's slightly different from what Jack Brown was talking about. Um, but here's Jack Brown's numbers from his video. He got a variance of 14.8 and a standard deviation of 3.85. So we should get the same from our calculator. So the first thing you do is you go to the statistics option again. And then, you know, as I'm sure you are aware, you just you put in the numbers into, into, into I've put it into list one. Now, um, at this stage, it's always worth just checking your settings. Notice that mine are completely wrong. Okay, my one variable x list should be list two, sorry, list one. So I set it back to list one. My frequency is now set from a previous example to being list one, but I want my frequency to be one. Um, you don't need to take out all the stuff in list two because because of your settings, it's just gonna, when you press one variable, um, it's just going to ignore whatever's in list two because of the way you've set it up in your settings. So um, if I press one variable, there we go. Okay, you see here your standard deviation is 3.847 or 3.85 to three significant figures. Notice that um, there's another one here, SX. Ignore that for your IB standard level syllabus. You do not need it. However, just for your information, what that is, is the sample standard deviation. So technically, if you are finding the standard deviation from a sample rather than from a population, when you divide by n for the sample, you're supposed to divide by n minus 1 instead. So this stamp sample standard deviation just uses a slightly different formula. Um, it might be useful for your IAs, but for your exams, you do not need um, this SX, you only need the standard deviation of X. If you want the variance, you simply take the standard deviation value and square it.